Hi, hi, everyone. Uh, thank you hi. for taking the time out. Um, my name is Rohan from Instant Times. Uh, congrats on the movie, first of all. Um, thank you, thank you, all of you. Thank you. Excellent job. Um, Anurag sir, uh, first of all, you know, your fondness for coming up with new ideas on set, you know, having that improvisational style is there. You can see it in all your movies. But this one felt different in the sense that a lot of it felt um, uh, pre-planned. Like a lot of the shots felt and there were a lot of, you know, you can notice the some of those invisible uh, effects out of the windows and stuff. Uh, so I was just wondering mm -hmm. if, if that was a new approach this time or um, am I wrong? You're wrong. No, <laughs> 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 it was important. Obviously, there was a script. So I think there ah. was a script that was written and rewritten and rewritten post demonetization and rewritten four times. And we pretty much followed the script, but within every day, everything we would improvise. Like things like, what are the scenes did we improvise, which is not in the script? Like the the element of euphoria when the blog uh, demonetization announcement happens. Yeah, the whole that nightmare. We improvised uh -huh. The whole nightmare was improvised. Yeah. Uh, the climax. The, was... Something. Uh, climax was totally. The climax was <laughs> fully improvised. <laughs> So I'm saying there's a lot of things that happened also because as you go along in the film, you start, I, we lived the film. So like, you know, when we were making the film, we were shooting in the morning, editing in the evening, Sayami, Roshan, they were all staying in my house, editor is in my house. So we'd shoot in the morning, come back, edit, put it together, see what it is. So it was a constant process of evolving the film. Nihit Bhave, who's our writer, who was 24 hours with us. Like, you know, and it's such a boon to have your writer non-stop with you. And and anything, anything. Like, there, there, there were times when I would overwrite something for Nate and Nate would fight with me and Nate would say, you can't have Sarita talk like Anurag when she's talking about demonetization. And Sarita was like, I can't say things like this because this is not me. It's suddenly it's like you are forcing your politics onto me. So I had hmm. to keep that objectivity. I had my conscience keepers so hmm. like to warn me that here now it's it's not the film about these characters. Suddenly you are making them sound like you. So th those are very thin lines we were walking. But I always had Sayami would protest vehemently, like you know, she says, "Yahan tak thik hai, yahan tak sam Sarita sound kar rahi hai, idhar se aapka chalu ho gaya." So you know, those <laughs> things will. They were constantly going through that, and every time I would then cut it out and. To keep that balance hmm. and make keep it lower middle class was 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 the biggest effort. In in the process, we improvised a lot. Amrita Subhash to goes on improvising. She doesn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, correct me if I'm wrong again. Uh, Roshan, uh, how easy or difficult is it to improvise in a language that is not your first? Like, is it is it a... Um, no, the language actually w wasn't a problem for me on this uh, because of two things. One, I've, I've been in Bombay for a couple of years. I've done a couple of plays and everything in Hindi. So I'm, I'm fairly comfortable with it. Uh, hmm. Also, I here had the liberty to switch to a different language if I couldn't find a word while, say, improvising because Sushant isn't, his mother tongue is in Hindi. So I could hmm. switch to a language that I was more comfortable in. I could switch to a Tamil or an English. So th that wasn't... Uh, that that really wasn't what I was worried about. I was worried about the fact that the scene was no, done. I, I just remember one day, day. One day we were trying to find a word for it. And luckily on the set, we had Vignesh Sivan. So Vignesh yeah, Sivan yeah, yeah, was yeah. visiting us mm -hmm. on the set. And he helped us find that Tamil word that you improvised when she yeah, yeah, yeah. before the wedding scene. Asinga <laughs> Arnona, that's the word. <laughs> Asinga yeah. Arnona. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, so the language wasn't the problem. The what what worried me was that, like I said, the scene's been done for ten minutes and we're still improvising. Why isn't he saying cut? Where is this going? So yeah, that now it was a lot of fun. Uh, where did the demonetization angle come in from? Was that rewritten? Um, post? Yeah, uh, it was. No, it was the film. Film initially when the script came to me, it was about it was all magic realism. The okay. sink was there, the money coming from the sink was there, the marriage was there, and I loved the idea of it. But I was slightly, it was just not coming together for me because you know before you can make a film and sell the idea to the audience, you need to buy into it. 
and i have had an experience of no smoking which is such a harsh reminder of that you know if somebody doesn't buy into it then 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 it like then you have to go to the effort of explaining it too much and a lot of people don't understand magic realism and so we were struggling with it then demonetization happened and suddenly hmm. it made sense to us so when demonetization was brought into the script then we had to make the we had to literally engineer it so ravi shivasta who's our uh, production designer nehit everybody we engineered how the money would have flown from upwards Like he puts the money in, फिर वो जो जाली उसमें जंग लगेगा जंग लगेगा तो जाली टूटेगी तो पैसा जाएगा तो सबसे पहले नीचे जाएगा जब नीचे जाएगा तो वहां पे अगर क्लॉक होगा तो उसके बाद सेकेंड लेवल पे जाएगा फिर वहां से जाएगा तो पानी ऐसा ऊपर पुश करेगा तो फटेगा पाइप सो फिल्म स्टार्ट एट द पॉइंट वेर बॉटम टू पीपल है मनी इफ यू लुक बैक इन टू द फिल्म पाइप फटता है पाइप फटता है फ्री कनेक्टेड द मनी इज फ्लोइंग डायरेक्टली इन टू हर हाउस तो दैट्स वेर द मूवी स्टार्ट when it starts flowing into her house so she thinks it's only happening to her when she doesn't know the other two are already have been like you know and when the demonetization happens suddenly niche wala disappear kar jata hai sab gayab ho jate hai because suddenly everybody is wanting exchanging money in the sec first floor has started organizing a marriage maine paise bacha ke rakhe we never explain those things paise kahan se aaye hmm. yeah so i'm saying when you Look back in retrospect, everything will start making sense. So we have to engineer it literally, sitting down, passe, kaise gaye honge, ki order me gaye honge, and then that came into the script. So those are the things that we were keeping in mind, and then we also keeping in track that if the money he has taken away, so when they see the suitcases being taken away, that's just before the announcement of demonetization. Hmm. But she doesn't understand why suitcases are being taken away. So it's suggested that the politicians took the money away. to change it before everybody else got a chance to change it and then the new notes started coming in so everything was done like that in order so it was a lot of engineering that we did and nehit is always like nehit was 24 hours around the clock on it so anything i would improvise he would sit across me and he wants to know what i'm doing and what i'm trying to improvise and he will because i write with my hand and he types so nehit said that i will type whatever you are writing and he will cut out shit so it was a very to and fro <laughs> we have improvised uh you know in the movie sam your character is she finds a bundle of cash in her house and her obvious in first reaction is this is too good to be true what is this you know i was wondering mm-hmm. all, and all three of you can take this question uh, you can answer this one by one um in your careers have you ever had this experience of being like oh this is too good to be true like something happens to you and you're like I don't know if I should believe this or not, and uh, what eventually happened. For me, actually, this film was that because it was as simple as uh, uh, I was sitting watching a film at Mami, and I, it was like a really long day. It was the last uh, film that I was watching, and AK happened to be sitting next to me, and he said, uh, "Picture karegi." So I said, mm, "Yeah, I mean, I'm an actor. I want to do films." So he said, "I will send you a script. So tell me your email address. I'm sending you a script." So he sent the script across to me, and I said, "I loved it." And that it was that during that time when Milvia hadn't worked, I was auditioning for stuff. People were dropping me out of films, and you know the typical film industry stuff was happening. And uh, he said that uh, I said that I love the script, and I really want to do it. So he said, "Okay, hey. so let's do it then. Think about it because you're going to play a mother. You're not going to look glamorous and stuff like that." and after i put the phone down i said mm, i don't think this is like now i'll get a call from a casting guy saying okay audition karna hai ye karna hai wo karna hai and the process will happen and then maybe he'll not keep his word so all these thoughts naturally came in but this film was one of those experiences where he gave me his word he backed me and made the film with uh, me koi aisa moment where you were like this is too good to be true and nahi nahi my moment too good to be true is like it is the same thing with everyone for me it was like when i got a chance to one meeting with ram gopal verma and he said okay come work on me one work on satya mm-hmm. with me for me that was like magical moment it has happened also before with when i met bhat saab and he said come and work so you know it's like i was very young when i was hardly 20 and i was making more money at the age of 21 22 then people are making today because i was part of i was the ghost writer on almost every daily soap and i got opportunities faster because i could handwrite 100 pages a day 
So I've had too many great moments in my life, and also the first time I met filmmakers, we would admire when you get I got a letter from Scorsese, or when everybody. But I've had too many moments like this. Too good to be true. How are you, Rosh? In the eight months between when uh, Anurag sir first called me and uh, sent me the script of Choke to when we started shooting the film, I think it was roughly eight months. I didn't tell anyone except one friend and my sister that this had happened because I thought it was too good to be true. I didn't. I didn't think it was actually going to happen. On every step of the way, I was expecting things to just fall out and you know. Uh, not work out. But that's also um, that's also big. I think I also never met Roshan before I offered him the film. I just yeah. saw his performance because both of them have this very certain honesty about them. This there's just an honesty that translates on screen, and that's the honesty I look for in people. So and when I saw that, and like even Sayami is not saying that, but <coughs> even after having sent her the script. She never looked like Sarita. She's far too glamorous to be Sarita and all that. So Sayami put on I don't know how many eight or ten kilos, and she went and did look test herself with my writer and people to convince herself and to reconvince me that you know I can be Sarita. She rented a child to make her look like a mother. <laughs> I remember huh? she rented a child. Like <laughs> rented a child. <laughs> rented. <laughs> It was a friend's child, but yeah. <laughs> borrowed. <laughs> was money exchange? Borrowed a child. Yeah, borrowed a child. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, most of the actors, like Upendra Lime, mm. I I was acting with him in a movie called Basuri, and I met him there, mm. and I realized he's such a fine actor. Why have I not like met him before? And I wanted him to come in and play this character, who's a Maharashtra, who's a, like a Bombay-born South Indian ready, probably in the hotel business. And he he came bored like that. Amrita Subhas blackmailed her way into the film because I told her like I I have worked so much with you. You bore me. I don't want to work with you. And her audition was still the best, and she still came up with something new. She just doesn't give up. So there's a whole lot of things that happened. Oh, there's one more too good to be true moment from Choked again. This is uh yeah, this is like one of my happiest moments from life. We were shooting the last. This is the last day of shoot for Choked, and I was uh sitting for my last shot of the film, and uh, AK. Uh, we were shooting in an auditorium, and from far across where AK was sitting, I saw him get up. He's on a phone call, and uh, he's talking on the phone, and then he starts bounding up to me. and uh, with with such force and enthusiasm that i felt either he is going to punch me or he is going to come hug me i didn't know what the hell was happening and i remember him walking up on stage where i was sitting he stands just outside the spot of light that i'm in and he says muthun got into toronto which is the movie that he found me in and the first time i was associated with his name and i i just had this moment of he found me from muthun and i'm sitting here we just finished shooting choked and like yeah. giving my last shot in this that was that was quite magical and he gave me a fist bump and he went away <laughs> <laughs> you know uh, sayami mentioned the typical film industry thing happening with her post her first movie now i was wondering so a couple of years ago the question that everyone would be asked when especially when they were appearing in a um, streaming movie was that where do you see the industry going where do you see the industry going in india and it's a question that i have also asked a lot of people and a couple of years from then uh now so yesterday i was watching e baleu and it was sad to know that that film is struggling to find a home uh but yeah. then two years ago when streamers came to india we were all confident that it's going to usher in a new era of storytelling in india do you think we've settled back into the same industry uh thing and then we've made the same mistakes yeah, yeah. again or unfortunately that's what is happening also is because the streaming industry is also now it's like how the studios came in and there was things that were changing and then the studios settled down to hiring the same people who used to run the industry before and the method again became the same thing and everybody wanted the safety net again and the same thing happened with streaming industry they took more chances before when they were starting out and now they want to play safe and that's happening across so a lot of mm. independent movies you go and they'll they'll be like we will take your film on our platform but it should be pay per view 
there will be no upfront money they would but they would give an upfront money if the film has names associated to it so for for newcomers a lot of people it is happening the same way that's the struggle that's really the struggle like i have it kind of easier because of having been an early starter even in the film industry or on the streaming platform but i know a lot of filmmakers young filmmakers like even like pratik watts and everyone they are they are facing the struggle because the films don't have big names associated with it and they're dealing with people who uh, who would not give that film a chance whereas the world over outside india is mm. the streaming platform that is throwing up new stars and new actors and new directors and newer ideas like you know a movie like platform acquired by netflix is a first time director who used to be a chartered accountant yeah and in, at, i'm saying and that gets acquired and things because decision making is like that but here it's settling down into who's in it an association with the stars mm. still some people still taking chances like for me i don't think i could have made choked with anybody else except netflix because mm. what comes into play is roshan matthew is a malayali actor mm. and he's not yet nevin polly or he's not yet prithviraj or sayami his first film mirzia bombed and it when a big film bombs it doesn't affect a ranbir or anushka and a bombay bullet bombs because they have a body of work but for a first timer yeah. it affects a harshwardhan and sayami so we know the struggle that bhavesh joshi went through so i know the struggle mm-hmm. that my film will go through and i told her up front right so this is going to be a tough long haul because i don't know when will i find money like i've i've gone through mukka baz i've gone through raman raghav so i know exactly how this industry works and netflix was very happily based on our past experiences of what work we have done together came on board and and, and i ended up making the film the way it should be made not like how we had to put in all our energies to make mukka baz look like the film that it was with the hotels that we were staying in traveling in trains and everything but with this film i could create a set and with a green screen around to have the feeling of a house which was authentic you know like people create sets to make things that are not realistic people create hmm. sets to make larger than life things we we were creating a set of a lower middle class house for the convenience of having the mechanics the, the, the getting the mechanics right of how the water flows out or the money flows out to make the door wide enough for the cameras to pass through you know to manage a lot of things and shoot with green screen and and matching it with the real exterior location i c- couldn't have done that if in any other film because it was a film you know, about normal class ha huh. that's a filmmaker's perspective but what is an actor's perspective on this sayami and roshan uh i actually just did a show with neeraj pandey on hotstar and it was a completely mm-hmm. unknown star cast and the show really works because people liked the script people liked it for whatever reasons that the show worked uh so that example kind of you know made me feel comfortable saying that okay uh, streaming platforms are not going to the run of a mill let's get us a lister first if we don't get an a lister then let's look at other options so that kind of gave me hope the show did but uh, definitely i can see a trend where you know they are trying to uh, find the big names to come in if they find a big name then they'll put in that much more money so i am not going to deny that that's not happening because i can see that is happening but at the same time there is a patal log there is a, a special ops so there there are, there is a choke so there are films where uh, makers are backing talent for probably fitting in the roles and not for coming with uh, you know i'm someone son someone's daughter or i'm a a lister roshan for me i think there's there's two sides to it that i've i've seen one there's something like choke that i've just done which uh, i know for a fact that with me would have been a tougher film to make if it weren't a netflix film so that's mm-hmm. as far as original content goes i i feel like uh, the work or the content itself has more value maybe than the names associated with it or the uh, faces because you know with, with netflix the biggest advantage is that like if i'm selling say choked to the market i have it is always sold on the basis of the two leads in it yeah and the money you get is based on that with netflix literally uh, the money is based on what how what i really need to make the film in the right way 
that advantage I had, which I wouldn't have had if I was making it a studio film. Mm. And it's not that I have not. I did not try it before. I did try it, and yeah. I was getting money for it. But the amount of money was not enough for me to make the film the way I we have made it. Uh, I guess that's my time, guys. Uh, thank you for uh, chatting with me. Uh, all the best uh, for the movie. Thank uh, you. Look forward thank to you so much. more. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Five hundred rupee and thousand rupee currency notes. Will no longer be legal tender. अब देखना सारा ब्लैक में निकल के आएगा बाहर। तब आ रही है ना।